He's dropped it to 23. Niners take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Brings up second and eight at the 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And on the slant, able to find Ayuk. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. They'll contain him to just four. Second down to George Kittle. In last week's game for Kittle, there are the numbers. Five catches, 52 yards, and a touchdown. Better tighten up the coverage if you expect to slow this guy down because if he gets going, he'll eat you up. Pettis hauling this in from Garoppolo. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain, of a gain of 13, it's a first down. San Francisco. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. Number 31. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Right two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And that's called winning at the point of attack, isn't it? Right there at the line of scrimmage. I know he's a little bummed out now. He doesn't get credit for a tackle for a loss, but no game. His guys will take that. And speaking of winning, to be as cheesy as we can, he was the winner of the NFC defense of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. It's a gain of 20. First down, 49ers. Sports. For Seahawks, 7. 49ers, nothing. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. There's Garoppolo to throw. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And a return will stop right around the 25. We came up to the booth. Last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? He's like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in zinc. Will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half. A first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But... It's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And the 
Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. A loss of seven. And keep your eye on that man. Four sacks last week, one there here in the second quarter. He can be so disruptive. So what was he doing in the first quarter? What was going on? Took a nap. <laughs> I think he tried to lull him to sleep a little bit. Like, yeah, okay, maybe you've got me this week. No longer. And you know, with the four sacks last week, it's obvious he gets his in flurries. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. So we reach halftime and what will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Now Garoppolo lost the football. Geno Smith sacked. Humble on the play. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. They're on 25 yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. Seven yards, the pick up there. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And a loose football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And the return stops just a few yards shot at five-yard line. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? First down, 49ers. To throw is Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. Three yards the game there, second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. Garoppolo again. Open man is IU complete. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdowns, receivers, defensive backs. 
All-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. And after the slow start, the numbers show he has really straightened things out. How often sometimes is that that you come into a game and the defense is game planned a little differently than you expected? More often than maybe people realize, so adjustments are often a big part of each and every game, and it's not just getting to halftime. It's series to series to make it work, and being able to hang in there when there's a little adversity early and see them able to flip it around, it's kind of gratifying for a team to watch, especially for a coach. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Garoppolo. That's Samuel caught left side. Garoppolo. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. One final try now for Garoppolo. A try in for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman, and that will write a finish to this ball game. So the